All right, hey, what is going on, guys? Dominator here, and I'm back with another movie review video. Oh boy, guys, tonight is a good one. Let me get some more light on my face. Tonight is a good one, guys. Uh, it's currently 11 o'clock when I'm filming this. I'm gonna pump it out in about uh, 10 minutes for Dominator's Den. So, uh, let's get to it. Um, in some parts of the world, this movie is not out, so spoiler alert is in effect. Um, so if you have not seen this following movie, don't watch the video yet. But, uh, I went to the premiere of Star Wars Episode Nine: The Rise of Skywalker. Holy shit, guys. Where do I begin? Um, <laughs> characters were definitely developed. Um, Leia does make an appearance. She does play a eh, pretty good part, pretty significant part for most of the movie. Um, <clears throat> Ray, Finn, Poe, of course, Chewie. And that's where we run into our first spoiler and my first problem with this movie. All right, so we're on a desert planet, and Chewie gets captured by the First Order. He is put onto a ship, onto a transport, and Ray tries to bring it back down. In this process, Kylo Ren is trying to push it out. Ray over here shoots force lightning out of her hands. There's only one other person in the Star Wars universe that comes to mind that's still alive for my thought, for my theories, that could do this. Emperor Palpatine. And that's where it lies. She explodes the ship that we just saw Chewie board. Chewie is dead. But wait. Oh no, he's not dead. Fast forward to Kylo Ren's ship two minutes later. After we get the little Chewie, everybody's depressed thing. Yeah. Now we're on Ren's ship. The elevator doors open. And Chewie is standing there. You see, JJ, that's not how it works. Okay? We just saw Chewie die. Okay? We saw him get on that ship and die. Why is he on Kylo Ren's ship? Okay? So, movie goes on. And Ray is talking with uh, Finn and Poe and Leia. And my suspicions are confirmed. It's Ray Palpatine. Palpatine's granddaughter. Palpatine never died. Oh no. Instead, we go to the Death Star remains from episode 6. We find a beacon and we go meet Palpatine. In the process, Rey goes back to the island in episode 8 where we find Luke and attempts to throw Luke's lightsaber into the water. But who's there but the ghost of Luke? And this is where another problem lies. You see, in episode 6, we had Anakin, Obi-Wan, and Yoda come back as ghosts in the end, right? Luke does the same thing. No big deal. Cool cameo. Whatever. We had another one from Lando. Get into that in a minute. The problem with this is he manipulates the Force and brings his X-Wing out of nowhere. 
He's just sitting there. That's not how that works. Okay. JJ literally made me hate the best part of episode 8. And there's not much in episode 8 that I like. Okay. Now we're back on the desert planet before Chewie's death. Because now I just mentioned Lando and now I have to get into this. What the hell is Billy D. Williams doing in Star Wars again? No one's thought about him for the last two movies. Then he just magically shows up. Okay. I'm going on a rant right now about all the parts that I hate. So here we go. Obviously. So this is what we're going to do. Okay. Here we go. Worst part about this movie. And then I'm going to wrap it up just because I'm too pissed off right now. This will probably be like a nine minute, ten minute video. For the last three movies, okay, seven, eight, and nine, Kylo Ren has been a major douche. Killed Han, he's been a major douche, right? He had the chance to be the good guy, turn his life around, and be the hero of the resistance. But J.J. Abrams, god damn it, instead shoots down our freaking ship of Ray and Finn like he's Luke blowing up the damn Death Star. And what do we get but a kiss scene of Kylo and Ray? Really, J.J.? I've been shipping Ray and Finn this entire time, and you're gonna tell me that leading up to that, we get a kiss of Ray and Ben? Why? Then, she connects with every single Jedi that ever lived, right? We've got Ben Kenobi from episode 4, Yoda, Qui Gon freaking Jin. Yeah, that guy that died in episode one from uh, Dar by uh, Darth Maul. Yeah, that guy. Kind of looked like uh... Frick. Who is it? I don't remember. But but yeah, him. Um, Mace Windu was there. Samuel L. Jackson. I was waiting for uh, Anakin. Yeah, he never showed up. Yoda definitely did. A lot or not? Mm hmm. Oh my god, my Yoda is so bad. Holy shit. So, in all, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Because there were some parts that I liked, and there were some parts I didn't like. Like the Chewy death thing, because we all know Leia was going to die anyway. So, we didn't get this. If Chewie would have died, we didn't get the death we wanted. Him screaming at the moon. <laughs> So yeah, guys, my first movie premiere, and it sucked. JJ, great writing. You made me hate episode eight more than I already did. Great job on your part. Um, one more thing I want to add. General Hux, okay, is a mole for the resistance. Just contemplate on that for a minute, yeah. Why? Why of everybody? General Hux. Whatever. I don't, I don't know. Well, guys, this uh, rant has gone on now for 9 minutes and 30 seconds. So, um, I think I'm just going to wrap it up here. Um, that's my spoilers and rant about episode 9. Uh, I'm expecting an episode 10 now. Um, don't know how that's going to work. But whatever. But yeah, guys. Go see it if you get a chance. It's good. Um, JJ, don't try to kill off freaking Chewie again. And see you later, guys. Peace.